Yo, what up, everybody? Silver Sonic 234 here, and welcome to the finale of Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. So, we are finally at the final boss fight against Solaris. And. This is pretty much the video that I know that you've all been waiting for here. So, here is the final battle right here. And this is basically the first phase. Um, here's the thing about this final battle, by pressing the Y button, you can actually switch between the three main Super Hedgehogs, Super Sonic, Super Shadow, or Super Silver. Um, in the first phase, there's a specific order in which we have to switch between the three main Hedgehogs in order to actually damage Solaris. So, the first person that we are, that we actually have to play as in this phase is Silver, in which he just basically does the same thing that he's been doing throughout this entire game catching objects and throwing it at him so uh yeah you have to just catch those spike balls that are uh being shot out of those time rifts that are in front of solaris and yeah until you break the armor on his right arm then you have to switch to shadow in which shadow shoots chaos spears multiple of them this time and yeah, so the reason why you actually, for some, re for some reason, the reason why you actually have to switch between certain characters on the first phase in order to even damage Solaris is because, for some reason, if you attack him with the wrong character in the wrong order, Solaris will just block your attack and it won't cause any damage to him whatsoever. So you have to, basically, I like this approach, you know, I, I like this approach. It's on the first phase, you can, um, I like this approach because... They actually want you, the reason why they um, constructed a first phase like this is because they actually want you to actually try out all three characters in their super form since we've never, we've, we've never actually, you know, it gives us a good example, it gives us a good try to probably try a super silver even though he's literally super silver even though he's literally no different, but um, anyway. <laughs> So yeah, now the last character we switched to in the first phase is Sonic, and we've already broken the rest of Solaris' armor. And now all we have to do is just keep on ramming into his core with Sonic, and that's Sonic's method of attacking. Turning into basically a blue, glowing arrow and, and shooting at Solaris real fast. You have to keep the meter all the way charged up, and in order to charge your energy meter up is that you have to hold... Um, the right trigger and throughout the whole phase I'm always holding the right trigger throughout the whole thing and that's the end of the first phase is it over no it's not over yet I guess it's not gonna be that easy And that is exactly what the second phase of Solaris looks like. He looks like the Legend of Zelda symbol. <laughs> I mean, like, he, he literally does. But anyway, the second phase is absolutely, of course, the most awesome phase in the game. So anyway, in the background of the music, we have this the, probably the most awesome orchestrated rendition one of the most awesome orchestrated renditions I've probably ever heard in the Sonic series, the an orchestrated remix of His World, which is the main theme of this game, which is already an awesome song in itself. So anyway, in the second phase, you can switch between pretty much any character you want. Any of them can damage Solaris. You, it's, it's just really hard to dodge his attacks because S Solaris is crazy this time around. He's shooting lasers at you like crazy. There's so many time rifts in front of him. So many spike balls shooting in front of you. And it gets it, it gets real crazy when you pretty much almost defeat him. Now, Silver is basically going to be useless in the rest of this fight. Silver is so basically in the rest of this fight, Silver is going to be all around useless because guess what? There is so many spike balls shooting at you. And so much stuff that Solaris is shooting at you. Silver's method of attacking is, you know, his using his psychic powers to throw his projectiles straight back at him. 
it's not going to work almost all the time. Almost all the time, it's not going to work. Because... It's the project because the spike balls that you're throwing back at Solaris is basically the spike balls that you're throwing back at Solaris is going to explode before they even hit Solaris because there's so much stuff that Solaris is sh shooting at you. Oh, and by the way, um, this is um, this is something that I almost forget that's in this boss fight. Oh, you can actually press the A button to actually dash forwards quickly to dodge uh, Solaris's lasers. But yeah, here's a crazy stupid thing right there, as you see right there, when Solaris is almost defeated, he shoots six lasers at you. That all around proves how useless Silver is in this fight, because, as I said, again, he can't, the only thing he can do is take those spike balls that Solaris is shooting at him and throw it back at him. But there's so much stuff shooting at you. That they're going to explode and they're going to get destroyed before they even reach Solaris. You literally, Silver's next to useless in this fight. So, but in, in this fight, what I recommend, who I recommend is the best character is, of course, Sonic. Because not only he has the best, he has the best method of attacking and it will most likely damage Solaris than any other character. Because... Shadows, Shadows Chaos Spears will damage Solaris, yes, but they won't. Oh snap! No, 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 no! Switch, 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 switch! Oh, dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Okay, I'm back. This fight does have some serious problems that I need to address. For some re, for okay, for one, you can get hurt while recovering from attacks. That is retarded. <laughs> That is absolutely retarded. And for one, and also when you switch between characters, your character makes a pose and then they like say their phrase and whatnot. Your character makes a pose. You can get hurt while your character's making that pose. How stupid is that? <laughs> but anyway, this boss fight is done. Time for the ending cuts and I'll give my final thoughts on everything during the credits. Surprisingly, did better than I thought. Forty-nine thousand. That's like way more points than we did get at strength. But thank you, Jesus. Did you destroy it? No. That is the true Solaris. Look at this. This is Solaris, the flame of hope. When the flame has grown large enough, our world will change. Solaris will allow us to control time and move through history. People will be able to rectify past mistakes and avoid bitter fate. Will we be able to see Mama? 
Yes, Elise. We'll both be able to see your mother once again. This is where everything began. Who knew such a tiny flame could bring such devastation? If we put out this flame, Solaris will never exist. And then we'll never have to worry about the flames of disaster, right? So then, that was the end of Sonic 06. We are now done with this entire game, ladies and gentlemen. Took me long enough. I mean, good lord. <laughs> but anyway, at least we got it done. Thanks, Lord. Just got it done. So now it's time for me to give my final thoughts on the game as a whole. First, yeah, first of all, the, uh, First of all, the story is absolutely <laughs> has so many plot holes in it. I don't. I, I know. I know it does. I mean, yes, it has so many plot holes in it. 
it, it it really does. It really does have so many plot holes in it. Like for for once, what in the world? Uh, first of all, I don't like this song. First of all, <laughs> first of all, what would happen if Elise died? Would Iblis still get released? Then that must mean yes, because. Well, that must mean yes, because that means Silver's future is there. I mean, you know, if, if that happened in the present, then that means Silver's future. And if, if Elise died in Eggman's battleship in the present, then that means, that would basically mean Silver's future is, you know, they boned. So, yeah, that's basically what that is. They never really explained that, but I guess that's, I guess that that happens but anyway Sonic story is basically the worst story out of all of them because it first of all doesn't it doesn't dig into any other games it doesn't dig into any of the games you know main story like the backstory and everything we get all that from Shadow and Silver story Sonic story is just Sonic and Elise bonding and the relationship and oh my lord you know how much of a joke that is on the internet like really Sonic and Elise like kind of basically falling in love with each other and then you know you guys remember the cutscene on the last part before the final battle you guys remember that okay first of all this game is constantly made fun of for bestiality on the internet just because of Sonic story and that one scene that is this is so much of a joke on the internet like it is really it's ridiculous but it, the story overall like shadow and silver story is the most interesting but still has a lot of plot holes for instance I told you about the blue emerald which uh, <laughs> and their gameplay their gameplay is Shadow's gameplay, his main gameplay, the whole combat oriented thing, yeah, I know, it's not really for him because he's a speed type character like Sonic. And Silver, I applaud the new concept that they gave Silver, you know. Silver's psychic powers, you know, it's a cool concept, I like it. But they could have gave him a homing attack and hang and run fast too because speed was the. Speed was a selling factor of the Sonic series. It was one of the main focuses. Speed and platforming. Everybody went fast in some sort of way. Everyone ran fast. That was one of the things that made Sonic games so good and so fun. But it seemed like, you know, by the time this game was released, like 2005, during the dark age of Sonic, basically, it seemed like they slowly forgot that TV again. It seems like they slowly forgot what Sonic was really supposed to be about. And the whole, this story is basically a whole stupid, mostly, not really because of, not really because of the plot holes and whatnot, but mostly because they're trying to stick Sonic in, in the real world, which is stupid. The whole thing, the reason why the Dark Age of Sonic happened in the first place is because Sega tried to do too much with this series. Look at Super Mario. Mario was... <sighs> Mario never really changed. I mean, they did, they put added some new things, and but Mario never really changed. And, you know, they, they've never bothered to put Mario in the real world and whatnot. That would be unfitting and stupid. Trying to do all this with Sonic just because, oh, that's what's popular these days is the hardcore stories and whatnot. But if you're, but if you're, if your franchise is a cartoony series about some anthropomorphic animals with superpowers and whatnot, and it's about a hedgehog saving woodland creatures from an evil bald fat scientist, that's a cartoon, people. This does not belong in the real world with photorealistic humans and whatnot. The story is just stupid, and the whole concept of that is stupid. Anyway, because this is this is a cartoon. This this is a game for rated E for everyone. 
Sonic story, so, stories and Sonic games do not be all dark and gritty and thrown in your face. But whatever. Um, the gameplay, like I said, Sonic's is the most fun gameplay. And the worst character in the game has to be Amy because of her short distance long hammer. But I'm not going to go into the every character of the gameplay. The music, as I said many times throughout this playthrough, is awesome. I love this soundtrack. It's just about three songs that I actually absolutely do not like. Sweet Sweet 06, Elise's um, thing. And I guess the Sweet Sweet 06... The, uh, the other version. There's two versions of that in this game, so I guess if you, I guess if you count that three, but every other song is great. The Solaris boss fight is, uh, it's just, uh, it's it's okay, but it's pretty glitchy at times. Of course, like this, almost everything in this game is. The laser is, uh, the laser that he shoots at you is like. It's, it's glitchy at times. Sometimes There's actually one time where I couldn't even see it and I just got blown up out of nowhere. And I don't like how your characters pose. Uh, I don't like how your character just pose in the middle of the fight every time you switch between one. That leaves you open and you will get hurt because of that. Like, you will. And there's pretty much almost severe slowdown almost every time you get hurt which can really delay you switching when you're low on rings but anyway this game as a whole I don't hate it it's not absolutely despised by me my game my opinion on this game was all over the place but now <laughs> Uh, again, I have a, I have more of a love-hate relationship in this game. There are more hate moments I have with this game than love moments. But, but anyway, that Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. You guys all know what playthrough is coming up next. So I will see you guys next time for. Uh, so I will see you guys on the next playthrough for Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess.